Alrighty guys, we're back to more NASCAR Heat 4 Championship mode. Today we're going to Darlington Raceway for the Bojangles Southern 500. Also, throwback weekend. As you can see in my throwback paint scheme, it is not the best remake I've ever made. Pretty much the worst. Basically, it's a throwback to Dale Jr.'s Fall Talladega Race Mountain Dew paint scheme. Um, I'll put a picture up right now. So basically, yeah, that's what the picture basically looks like. It it's way better than mine, but anyway, um, playoff standings. We have two more races. So playoffs still leading them with eight wins. Joey Logano second with six. Kyle Busch in third with three wins. Kurt Busch with two and four. Denny Hamlin, Carmen Harvick, Daniel Suarez, Jimmy Johnson, and Chris Buescher with one win. As the rest of them. Brack Kozlowski, Martin Truex Jr., Alex Bowman, Eric Jones, Chase Elliott, Ryan Blaney, and Kyle Larson. So far, still good in the playoff standings. Um, need wins is Ham Daniel Hemmerich, Matt Donadetto, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Paul Menard, and Ty Dillon. Needs points, Eric Amaro behind with 74, or not 70, 24. Clint Bard behind with 43. Ryan Newman behind 110. William Byron behind 174. And then Tyler Eddie behind with 185. Next race we'll be going to for the final race of the regular season is Indianapolis for the Brickyard 400. Let's go to Darlington, see it qualifying. Going on turn four, Darlington. We gotta get. Let's see where that puts you. 27. Okay. It's okay for me. Who got the pole though? Kyle Busch. Yeah, Tyler Reddick in third. He could be a contender for the win. Try to get, try to get himself locked in. We're going green. Here we go. Throwback weekend is underway at Darlington. Dylan, get down there. Oh my god, you want that bottom? Get here, get that bottom then. Jesus. God, I'm starting to get mad at Dylan. He just keeps like like shoving me up there because he wants that bottom so badly. Kyle Busch leaves the first laps here in Darlington. Jeez Louise. God dang, Austin. He wanted that bottom so badly, so he was just trying to shove me up the racetrack because he wanted that bottom so badly. God, he needs to chill. At least he almost won Sunday night. That would have been awesome to see that, but he tried. I think if Austin had one more lap, he would have got Harvick. And of course, Matt Benito, not, I was not happy with his run. Uh-uh. Not happy with his run. That was a, yeah, we're 15. Got no stage points to both. Blaney didn't have a very good run either that night either, so. Outside, outside. Hope we have a better run at Richmond than Bristol. We might have a good run. Because daytime Bristol, I thought we'd have a little bit of a better run, but Careful, we did not have a very good run at all. Trying to get under Newman here, I can't even get under. Still there. I mean, that, that little thing with um, Chase Elliott and Chase, uh, no, I'm not. Careful. I'm not. Chase first go. Martin Truex Jr., that was pretty interesting. I don't know what Chase, I don't know what Martin Truex Jr. did to Chase though. I think Martin Truex Jr. had a nice clean pass and Chase was frustrated with him. I don't know why, but 
if you guys can comment down below if you know what the reason why was because I haven't been fun. I think Mark Church Jr. did a nice clean pass. What maybe maybe put maybe a Dang it, Blaney. Stay low, stay low. Clear maybe some never went down and block it. <laughs> sure had a good run on here, but he sure did have a, oh wait, this is 2019, never mind. Never mind, this game is 2019. He's up in 11, Jimmy Johnson. Can I just please have the bottom of this in this stage? Because I do not want anybody on my bottom because Austin Dillon is pretty much a... Well, actually, well, I should say Austin Dillon is actually not on the bottom. Jimmy Johnson will be. But I feel like Jimmy Johnson will do the same thing Austin Dillon did. Just wants that bottom and shows me up the racetrack. Yeah, three wide does not work too well on the turns. I mean, right here wouldn't mind, but three wide... Eh, you better not be right by the wall when you're three wide because you'll either cook the wall or you're going to... I haven't got the Darlington Strike yet. I'll tell you I don't mind. I keep like this paint, this like throwback paint scheme. I'll tell you truth. I, I I like the the actual paint scheme that Dale Jr. had, but my version looks awful. I mean, tell you truth, I tried my best. I was I was originally gonna try to do is I found like one was like his um, All Star 2016 All Star race paint scheme, but it didn't look right, so I was like. Yeah. Also, I found his 20 his ta his, um, ta 2017 Talladega one. So I'm like, okay, we'll try that then. Yeah, it sort of works, but kind of doesn't. This is how it goes. Dang, got one car. Oh, oh my God. Well, I got the Darlington strike. Just put the wall there. Oh, drove the corner. Bad. I'm curious how Indianapolis is going to go. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see next Sunday. Tyler Reddick. Looks like him. I kind of fell back. Final lap in stage one. White flag is in the air. Sorry, Jimmy, I'm getting that bottom on the restart. You got room, you're clear there. It looks like her push is the stage one winner at Darlington. And I'll finish 11th. To get the start on the bottom, huh? Nice driving that stage, Travis. Caution. And Tyler Reddick fell back to sixth. Wow. Starter has the green flag in his hand. Be ready. Stage two underway. Got one up top. Ten to go. Still there. Harvick move. I hate that when they do that. Like, like they act like they're gonna go up and then you're right there, then they block down. Oh my god, I was scared I was gonna hit him. Man, I got a good, I got a good chance to get my ninth one of the season tonight. We'll have to see. The tires might affect me. Yeah, you know how many Darlington races I've watched this in, in the past few games on tires? Pretty much a lot of them. Oh, you don't, Hamlin. No, you stay up the racetrack there. Good job, Hamlin. It kind of sucks about how they don't have like like a little free um, throwbacks. You gotta buy them for the room three. You had like. Oh, you're not handling. 
You're gonna stay to that top. Whoa, whoa. Stay on the back up, back up, back up, back up. I kinda got loose there. Her bush is just going, just going away. Stay on the bottom here. Got one peeking out of that. Oh yeah, we got a good shot to win tonight. As long as we don't mess up, it should be good. Okay, that will not work. Sorry, Kyle. Did not mean to bump you like that. My bad. Fast in here. Hey, Kurt's got the fastest car tonight. Battle Kyle for second place. I passed him. Let's see if they can catch up with Kurt Bush for the lead. Oh yeah, I could have a nice shot. Darlington's like like one of my best speedways to win at. I mean, like some of the other ones I can't. Like New Hampshire can be one of them. Darlington's like pretty much like pretty much one of my good ones to win at. Like Pocono, that one's kind of a downfall now. The rest of them are just same. <laughs> yeah, pretty much the same thing. That's how I usually can't win at them half the time because they're basically the same thing. Good thing cookie cutter tracks. Better watch out, Kurt. Look who's coming. Yeah, I seen last night Kurt did not have a throwback to Michael McDowell. It's kind of disappointing. Probably they didn't, maybe they didn't have time, maybe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you too. Eric Jones is. I understand his throwback to Tony Stewart. Sports clips colors, it made it worse. That was not a good paint scheme at all, just saying. That was not a very good throwback at all. You should have kept the original. I understand Sports Clips was sponsoring, but you should have kept the original orange Home, Home Depot colors on there and just put kind of like um like the Stuart Haas did. Stuart Haas drivers last year, they had like did a few throwbacks to Tony Stewart. They had their original sponsors on there, but they had the original orange. Home Depot colors. That's what they should have done. Ooh, Kurt lifted a little bit there. And this is going to be a battle for Sage 2 win. Look out, Kurt. Look who's coming. To the pit road on here, it is hard to go down. It's hard to get down pit road. Half time, like before I even like, if I'm doing like like a fuel strategy race, I'm gonna have to like do two practices down pit road. That's really how like tricky this pit road is to go down. Final lap stage two. So All right, let's so go. Try to get past her push here. Come on, Kurt. Come on. If I can get curtain time, maybe if I can get him in turns three. Here we go. I got him. I got him. I think I got him. Oh, he clipped the wall a little bit. He clipped the wall right there. I think I got it. Oh, I got it. Oh my God, that was an incredible battle for stage two win. Oh my gosh. I hope it. Didn't, I hope. I hope it didn't wreck Kurt Busch there. Oh my God, that was like like one of the best finishes I, I've seen in a long time on this. We're not saying not a long time, but like on, on this game though, but oh my god. Wow. That's just, wow, that's a good move. Final stage underway, that just pretty much amazed me right there. I was like, hope I didn't wreck Kurt there. If I did, that's my bad. About 20 laps, wow. All right, let's try to hold off Kurt Busch and Kyle Larson. We can try to win the Southern 500 with my horrible Throwback paint scheme or remake, you say. I'm not like I said. I'm not. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to say Dale Jr.'s is saying it's bad. I'm just saying my is kind of bad. So I'm gonna shut up. I probably repeated that like twice already. 
Looks like he has fell back. Oh, wow, he's falling back to 430 because he got Larson second. Hamlin, oh, he's battling Hamlin on the outside there. Larson's going to try to battle me for first place. You know, to tell you the truth, I was scared at, like, in that final turn. I wasn't going to have enough momentum, but I had... He clipped the wall a tiny bit when we were, like, coming... Right when we were starting to um, exit turn 40, he clipped the wall a little bit, like, kind of around right here. You got it. I don't know if it's because I kind of shoved him up there here or he lifted a little bit. I remember racing in Darlington the first time when I got beat in NASCAR E2. Oh my god, I hated that track so much. I literally hated Darlington so much. I used to complain like, like God, this, I hate this track so much. The corners are so dang tight. Oh, after a while. The worst thing, I completely forgot about this. If you if you played NASCAR Heat 2 and Heat 3, I, I might have been in Heat Evolution. Remember when you used to come off turn two and you had that big bump on the side of the on, off the turn two wall? Oh my god, that was about the worst thing ever. I lost one time. I literally wrecked in heat three doing that because I was trying to like because I was on the outside trying to pass somebody. I clipped that. I guess I was a little bit too high and I clipped the thing and I and I basically like got spun around. It was, it was so stupid. I was so happy they took it out of the game in heat four. But oh my god, I I I can. I purposely forget that because I really hated that so much. Like you like get the and on top of there and also you're like you're wrecked. Not doing too bad of a job so far. Kyle Larson still staying behind us, so it's first hurt at. Oh, he's back in third. Okay. He's got him a second away from us. Kyle Larson's trying to battle me out. Cause I don't think he's getting no Kyle Larson. No, he's like 16th in the playoffs, so he's trying to go for a win. He's got a good run. Yeah, I just can't wait. Yeah, let's see if we can make it make it to the lap traffic. We'll see how we'll see how well Larson's gonna go through that. Especially me too, darling. Other like tracks that they're pretty easy to go through. At Darlington, it's a little tricky. Like the corners are so dang tight. Half the time, I like to like to go under the yellow or like under the line. What's the yellow line? Under the line. Sometimes it doesn't work the way my right my tires are right now. Most of my right front. Yeah, <laughs> there's no way. not really fall back a lot, he was falling back just a tiny bit. Okay. Sure. I thought it was like Tyler Reddick. Man, Tyler Reddick, he needs those points. I don't I don't know if he finished in the top ten in the stage two. I wasn't really paying attention to that. Ten laps to go. I don't know, Larson, you think you can get through Parker Clergyman here? Clear high, bud. 
And it looks like he does. I think he, yeah, he got him all, yeah, he slowed him down just a tiny bit. Do not tell me that is Bubba Wallace. Is that really Bubba Wallace or is that Chris Pusher? That looks like Bubba to me. I could be wrong. Yeah, I think that's him. Oh my god, Bubba. You had a very good, you, had, you qualified pretty good. God dang it. Oh, Larson, that's going to slow down your mind. Don't you dare, Brandon, gone. I really hate that about traffic in this game. Like in real, like an actual NASCAR, they usually move you out of the way. Like you move out of the way. These ones, <laughs> nope, they just stay. Nope, they just block you off. I understand you're trying to stay on the lead lap. There's a few cars that should not be. Newman, you know, he's he's tough in the actual world, but he's still tough in this game to pass. Oh wow, Larson! Oh yeah, Larson's falling back pretty quick. Now he's getting held up by traffic. I thought that was pretty cool how David Reagan how David Reagan was racing in the trucks. And he had and he actually had that same paint scheme right here. I thought that was pretty neat. It was like I didn't know if trucks were gonna do throwbacks because they were like from what I seen the last time they went to Darlington was 2011. I did not know that and caution comes out. That's gonna be a break for Larson here. Let's hope so this is the final restart. We're back under green. Close there. Because I didn't know that. And I kept wondering, like, I was like, well, nobody really mentioned, like, trucks paint, like, trucks, trucks throwback. I was like, okay, I guess I'm not, I guess really not, I guess I might not be doing it. Also, later I realized it's a Kurt Busch is going to try to. Oh no, I better not lose another race to Kirk Bush. <laughs> that already happened once, and that was Richmond. And that was the spring race at Richmond. On the final lap, too, because my tires were crappy. And then the final turn, also. I got a good lead over him so far. He could possibly get, could get a run of me on the long runs. If he the spot he gains more. No, I kind of lose a little. He loses ground to me on the turn. Oh, he kind of went up in the wall right there. Let's see how many. See if he gains ground in the long runs. Final lap in Darlington. Right, let's go. Try to go two in a row. A throwback running at the Bristol Night Race. And now, trying to get a win. The Bojangles Southern 500. Oh yeah, we got a good lead over Kurt Busch and Kyle Larson. Kyle Larson's gonna go try to go under Kurt Busch for second place. Make the turns three and four for the final time. Clip the wall a little bit. And we're gonna win Darlington for the ninth win of the season. Let's go. Woohoo! Nice work today, flag. Throwback weekend. Winning winning with the with the throwback paint scheme, I guess. Oh crap. Heck yes, for Dale Earnhardt Jr. Mountain Dew. Oh man, this is awesome. Putting this card victory lane. Ninth win, wow. One more. Oh, he's, oh yeah, we could have a shot to get 10 wins in this season. What are the most wins in a single NASCAR Cup season is? I highly doubt that's going to happen on here, but that would be awesome to break it. Even though it's not in real life, but... All right, well, that will be the end of the video, so thank you for watching, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you on another episode of NASCAR Heat 5 Championship Mode as we will go to Indianapolis for the final race before the playoffs start.